Hello everyone! It's time for Friday Sew Sewing Chat. I have a couple completed sewing projects to share with you as well as some plans that I have for the upcoming week and just a little miscellaneous chit chat. Welcome to my channel, Sharon Sews, channel all about sewing. Before I get into what I've sewn recently, let me share with you, I am indeed wearing a top that I made. I know we're getting into the fall season and I'm still wearing my summer tops. It is hot here, hot and muggy. What I'm wearing is McCall's, McCall's 7976. I sewed this out of this beautiful cotton fabric that I purchased from Emma One Sock and I sewed this one or two seasons ago. It's a very easy to sew top. Keep in mind if you do sew it, it is really oversized as you can see but I think maybe that's what makes it so comfortable. As I mentioned in my last makes video, and by the way, thank you for all of your positive comments on that. It was really heartwarming to read them all. As I was saying in that video, I mentioned how I just didn't have much sojo over the summer. Some of you agreed during the summer, you just don't feel like sewing. I'm happy to report, even though it's really hot out still, my sojo has come back with a vengeance. I just want to sew, sew, sew. Part of that might have to do with the fact that I have that fabulous new Bernina machine to sew with. So what have I been sewing? Glad you asked, let me share with you. First of all, behind me, this black top, this is Vogue 1701, this pattern right here. Now you might recall that I'd sewn this previously to test the fit, that was this one. And while I don't really care for it out of this fabric, I'm really glad that I tested it because there was a couple of things that I did not do on this one. I found I did not need that invisible zipper in the back. This one pulls over my head just fine. I also found I didn't need the functioning button closure on the sleeve cuff. So I eliminated it on this one and I can get it on and off just fine. The fabric on this one is from a mystery bundle, Fabric Mart Fabrics, and it was a little bit sheer. So I added, I thought this was batiste, but I actually think it's a lightweight broad cloth. It doesn't matter, it's cotton, and that was my main concern. I wanted something cool under there. So I did line the body part, left it unlined on the sleeves, and then up here on the neckline, I did a partial lining because this fabric was a little itchy on my neck. I'll go into a little more detail when I do a pattern review for you because I did do a full bust adjustment and I did promise you that I would film and share with you how I added a bust to this and then rotated the fullness to the neckline. I've got that video filmed, I just need to edit it for you. And as I said, I'll share a little more details on the actual pattern when I share with you how to do a full bust adjustment and rotate it into gathers. I also sewed a really adorable pair of summer pajamas right here. This is the sewing and the city. That's not the right side. Here. This is the sewing in the city Lexington pajama set. It is a PDF pattern and I like all those options that are available. Well, I decided to do the short sleeve top and the, and the shorts and it's not for me. I actually sewed it for my daughter, but y'all it's so cute. I want to keep it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've already shared pictures with her so she knows that she's getting these and she thinks they're very cute also. This fabric is a lightweight cotton voile. It is from Super Textiles. I purchased it on Etsy. I originally was going to sew a top out of this, but I felt like it was too sheer and it was a great big panel print. So I had to really think about how I was going to use it. It's perfect for these pajamas. I absolutely adore how these turned out. And one more thing, this is the first project I sewed completely on my new Bernina. I was so eager to try out the buttonhole function. I have been told it is amazing and it is. I'm gonna pop in a quick little video so you can see how easy it is to do buttonholes on this machine. How amazing was that? I have been sewing a very long time. I have always dreaded making buttonholes, even the ones that are supposed to be pre-programmed because it seemed like something always messed up. And it was always that last one that you did, right? And I'd always start at the bottom to make sure everything was fine. I'd get to the top and it'd be this one that would mess up. I don't think I'm gonna have that problem anymore with my Bernina. 
This is another Zane shirt from the sewing workshop. That's this pattern here. This is number three. I just like this. My husband not really like it when I wear this because he thinks, he thinks it looks like someone ripped off half of the bottom of my t-shirt. I personally really love it. So what I also did to emphasize the uniqueness that each is different, as you can see, it's pretty obvious. White here, red here. This fabric is from Minerva. Minerva gifted me this fabric. I sewed up this fabulous little top and I wrote a blog post on their website. This next top is by far my favorite based on how often I wear it. I wish it was cooler out so I could wear it more often. It's this little top. This is McCall's, what is this? McCall's 8201. This is a lightweight crepe that I purchased from Emma One Sock. I've lined it with a white batiste. This top is entirely lined and there's elastic in here. It's really an interesting construction. It takes time. It's almost like if you've ever bagged a lining on a jacket, it's the same concept. Um, if you don't want to do that, you could certainly just fold the edges over and make a casing like a traditional peasant style top, whatever. I did add one inch to this. I probably would add a little bit more. There's no need for a full bust adjustment. There's a lot of ease in this top. So keep that in mind, depending on how you like your garments, you may want to size down. I love this little top. I've been wearing it frequently. I do plan on sewing it again fairly soon. So what am I working on this week? I have these pants cut out. This is from the Sewing Workshop Urban T-shirt and Pants. I have sewn the T-shirt before, not the pants. I'm using this beautiful, drop that, clay colored linen cotton blend that I purchased from Emma One Sock. I'm looking forward to that. I also think even though the pants style is a little summery, I think this color will help transition into fall. To go with this, I had purchased this coordinating fabric. I love that about Emma One Sock on the website. When you're looking at a piece of fabric, if you scroll below, there's suggestions on fabrics that coordinate with it. I really like that because sometimes when you're on the computer, it's hard to tell colors. So I purchased this knit. I liked the graphic print on it. I also like that there's multiple colors so it could be worn with multiple things. I'm just having a hard time deciding what t-shirt pattern to use. I purchased a yard and a half, so I've got plenty of fabric. I thought about the urban t-shirt and realized the one that I currently have in my closet, I'm not wearing it very often, so I'm not gonna do that one. There's the Concord tee. That would be just a very plain t-shirt. I kind of want something with a little more style to it. I thought about doing this shirt from, what is it? 1515 Vogue Pattern Center Bitsina. It's actually designed for wovens. It probably would work in the t-shirt. So I want to sew that this week, but I'm kind of on hold. I just can't make a decision. When you saw that fabric, what t-shirt pattern popped into your head? Leave it in the comments below for me. How many decide what I should do with that fabric to go with these pants? Have any of you seen the recent trend of quilted jackets? As the saying goes, everything old is new again. I have seen some Instagram photos of folks that have taken old quilts and re-sewn them into jackets. And you know I wanted to do one too. <laughs> So I've been on the lookout for a quilt that I could upcycle into a jacket. Last week I learned of this huge church sale and I popped in on Monday, which was the first day just to see what was available, but I found a quilt. It's actually damaged, so it was $10. Isn't that amazing? Part of me feels like I shouldn't cut it apart and re-sew it, but the other part of me says it's just another way that the quilt can continue to be used. It's damaged, pretty big, pretty big hole there. And when I looked at the back, it appears that this was hand quilted. Can you even imagine how much time that took? I'm hoping there's enough quilt here that I could do a simple jacket. This is probably gonna be one of those projects that'll take place in the winter. I've got a lot on my plate. So watch for that. And of course, while I was there, I dug through the clothing because everything was $1 just to see if there was anything that I could use for refashioning. I did pick up a couple pairs of jeans because I have a project that I'm working on that required a few more pairs of jeans. So for a dollar, I like that bet. I like that price. I also found a couple ties. I got pink, kind of a silvery gray and a black, yeah, black and white. Well, I purchased these because I want to sew this, 1816. I did talk about it in the fall 2021 Vogue pattern release video, and this required some ties. I didn't have any ties handy. So I'm starting with the ties as the basis for my fabrics for this. 
my goal, if at all possible, is to use fabric that I have in my stash. So the first thing I thought of is this, I think it's a taffeta, this piece. I purchased this from Esher Harris. It was on their bargain table. I think it might've been four or $3 a yard. I love this. I love the color. Unfortunately, it had been folded for so long, the folds won't come out. Color wise, I like this. It'll work with the ties that I just purchased. And because the jacket is pieced, it should be able to work around those folds. And then I had this denim. So these work together, don't you think? I have to pull down my storage tote from the attic with the denim fabric in it. I'm pretty sure I have a piece of black denim and I'll have to look to see if the blue will work also. I have two pieces of fabric to start with, a couple of ties, and you just need to fill it in. That's gonna be a fun one to sew and as I make progress, I will share with you. And my little one is gonna say hi to you because I'm filming this on National Dog Day and I just wanna show her off. Look, she's she's not gonna look at you now. There you go, say hi. She's like, nope, I wanna go see the squirrels. Okay, bye. We're gonna go let her out and go chase the squirrels. That's it for Friday Sews this week. I hope you have a blessed day. Happy sewing. I'll see you in the next video. It was a lin, oops. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, channel, channel sews. Cut, try it again. So I eliminate, I can't say that word. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. Oh, there you go.